Hello guys and welcome to tutorial number 7 from working with Photoshop. In the last tutorial I showed you how to make the folded corner of this invitation card. So we will just work further with that image. So I'll just go to my invitation card and there it is. Now you might want to add some text so go to the horizontal type tool or T and just type anything you like maybe your company name alright press ok and now control click and drag to position it where you like and maybe add some more text if you like but I'll just keep it this way and I'll fill it to maybe 66% to make it so more transparent now you want to add some brushes to your invitation card so you will go to your brushes and click on the arrow but they are all standard and boring so I will go to coolestbrushes.com and if you just search a bit you will find some pretty cool brushes so I will go to the photoshop flower images and I look very good at the description it says free for personal and commercial use in art projects and graphic designs so this one is completely free so click on download okay and open the zip file then you have the flowers one brushes by hawksmont.abr double click on it and now they are in photoshop press the arrow again and there are all your flower brushes now just add the brushes you like select layer 1 and create a new layer on top of it and if you now click somewhere it will be also outside of the invitation card so I will control Z to go back and control and click on my layer 1 thumbnail so it will be only inside my layer 1 so maybe adjust the size to 329 pixels press enter and click somewhere and it will only be inside of your invitation card I'll just press ctrl alt z again because then you can go more steps back Ctrl Z is just for one step. I will put one brush right here and I'll pick another brush, maybe a nice flower, and I'll enter again and I'll just put it in the corner. Now it looks pretty messed up, but if you now Ctrl D to deselect and make layer 3 so more transparent by filling it maybe maybe 17 percent and press enter it will be looking more like a background for your invitation card and not just some random artwork you could add any brush you like any color you like so you can make very cool stuff after you learn this tutorial and maybe you want to color up your background so place a new layer on top of background and maybe add some brushes maybe some flowers just to make your background a little bit nicer and there it is your own invitation card design i hope you learned something today and i hope to see you soon in the next tutorial a download link for the brushes will be in the description below